now we will see how to create parameterized report now again i'll add a new data set emp param now this time i want to filter the report based upon the department so i'll just right click and say add data adapter the next same query i'll write select employee table and department name now i'll say employee id employee name employee salary employee date of joining department name hod where department id is equals to at di finish i'll save this now i have got another data set which is filtered with the help of department id now i'll add a new report it as param report say add and i'll take the same table here so this time i have another data set that is employee param now from this i need to take employee id employee name employee salary insert a column to right i'll take department name that's it I'll just save this. I don't want other fields. What are the fields I want? I can take and I can leave rest of the field. Now, one more thing I want in the footer of this table, I want it to display the sum of employee salaries. So, what is it I need to do? I need to simply select employee salary and drag and drop it in this footer. So, it will be displaying sum of employee salary. Save this. now my report is ready i'll add another page add new item web form i'll say param default to I'll add it go for the report viewer control drag and drop it now from here this time i'll select param report now as this is a parameterized report if i say configure data source if i say next i need to choose the method that is nothing but get data again i'll say next now this department id i need to get it from somewhere so what is that from where should i get department id normally i should get the department id from a drop down list so what is it i'll do i'll put a drop down list here and i'll say choose data source new data source so we'll be configuring this drop down list and we'll get department id and department name in this drop down list database connection string next i'll select department I'll say department id department name next there's the query finish say display department name Save this. Say enable post back. Now I got department ID. Now I can get department ID from this drop down list value. So I'll configure and choose this data source. Configure it next. I'll say get data. Then next department ID. Get the value from control that is drop down list. Say finish. Save this. Now I'll double click this drop down list and I'll simply write. report viewer 1 dot local report dot refresh that means after passing the parameter i need to refresh the report to get the latest data and i'll execute this now i'll select the department the education i get the information of that department so in database i have employees 
and in education I have employed. So that's it. This is how you can build parameterized reports. Thank you very much.